The major candidates in the race for Honolulu mayor went head to head in an hour long televised debate on KHON television. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has some big highlights. Oh. An engineer and two lawyers, that's who took the spotlight. The most edgy moments came from candidates themselves trying to expose their opponents' weaknesses. There was a question from the engineer to the former city prosecutor. Just how many pages of a thousand-page environmental study of the proposed rail system has Peter Carlisle actually read? The answer backfired as a question. If you don't win the election by some chance, are you planning on bringing a lawsuit because it will drive up the costs? of rail dramatically. And when the lawyer turned acting mayor asked the engineer about his idea for a nuclear plant, the answer ricocheted as a jab about rail. I would be the least person to shove a nuclear plant down people's throats like other administrations shove rail down people's throats. All three did appear to agree on something. I support a consumer fireworks ban uh, island-wide. I do think there should maybe be an exception for certain religious uh, ceremonies. But other than that, we need to protect our public. They're dangerous. They're causing lots of injuries. We need to get a handle on them. The best thing we could possibly do is to enforce the laws, but that's very, very difficult to do. If we can't even enforce the laws. On July 4th, 2011, as mayor, I will have an all out ban or any non professional fireworks. Assess the situation talk to the council, the HPD and the HFD, and then see if we actually need to have an all-out ban. A no-show at tonight's debate was Councilman Rod Tam. His presence has been spotty at forums around town, but he insists he's still in the race. He spent the night campaigning in EVA. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.